Huge steps are being taken right now as we speak to form the one world religion, or according to what one WEF official, you will know a Harari had to say, the correct religion. We'll dive in and discuss. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times, reminding you that we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, that is my only option. Guys, if you could really quick, if YT lets you try and hit the like button for me, very important to share this video all over the place. Help me get around the algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe. Of course, yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. Let's talk about this. Whoa, we got some serious issues going on. The WEF, the World Economic Forum, look, we know they're going to play a significant role as it comes to the end times. And well, in this interview that you will know Harari gave, and, and you got to know, this is somebody who is beloved by the likes of Barack Obama, Bill Gates. He sold over 45 million books worldwide. When this guy talks, people listen. Not good people, but people that are going to be making a lot of decisions as it comes to the way that this world goes in the years to come. I've talked a lot about AI recently. In fact, I just did a story the other day talking about how in Germany, a church there, the entire service was preached by, yeah, chat GPT, chat bot AI. Uh, that was creepy. A lot of you chimed in on that discussion. But then the topic of AI came up again in this interview, which uh, with Harari, which I will post in the description below, talking about new ideas and how we can use AI to create those ideas and, well, a correct religion. A correct religion. What does that mean? Well, I'll speak more on this in a second, guys. Really quick, um, let me just say this. If you guys enjoy my daily work here, you appreciate what I do, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. You can do it a couple different ways. One, you can simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here to make a one-time donation. It's kind of like throwing me a tip if you appreciate what I do. Or you can join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. You go to patreon.com slash news. I set a goal for the month of June. We're trying to get five new patrons to join us. We have one sign up so far. We're looking for four more. And with the Patreon, you guys are going to get the alerts for all the videos. You can comment censorship free on every video and send direct messages to me. So check it out. Big thank you again, everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. In the interview, Harari specifically noted the Bible. He did not mention any other book, any other religion. No, solely the Bible and Christianity. So, you know, I, I thought, why are you not calling out the Quran to be rewritten? No, they don't want to bother. No, they go to the Bible because they know that the Bible is the truth. That the Bible is the inspired word of God. That's why they're going after it. Okay? It makes complete sense. You see Satan's strategy here. He's not trying to rewrite other religions. No, no. He always goes after Christianity because he knows that's the true word of God. And as Harari goes on in the interview, he talks about how we need to use AI to rewrite the Bible. Rewrite it so that it can be correct. Basically meaning... Take out everything that's true and holy and replace it with apostasy and lies and deception, which is exactly what they want. To give you an idea of an alternate God, right? Or the true Messiah. I love the fact that AI can do so much now. And he says that in a few years, very important, a few years, this could all be possible. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing is the birth of the one world religion. There will, in fact, be some sort of a, a book, a Bible. They'll call it something. But this will be what will be used now for the new one world religion. It will not be the Christianity, you know, it will not be the Bible that you and I know. No, 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 no. Something completely different, heretical in every sense of the imagination. Okay? This will be the manuscript that will be used for the Antichrist, the false prophet, and everybody else. That'll be joined up with their team. Do you see the days that we are living in right now? A Bible that you have will be considered dangerous, extreme, and you'll be forced to get rid of it or else. 
He also talked about surveillance. I want to mention this really quick because he said that one thing the pandemic showed us is that we can now have surveillance under the skin. Oh, now we're getting into this. Let's just get the mark and the beast going, right? Do you see where this is all going here, ladies and gentlemen? Right? A mark in the right hand or in the forehead. You literally have everything right here. Mark of the beast, one world religion, one world currency. It's all here. I'll put more information on this in the description. You guys can let me know your thoughts. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, the most important part, hear me on this. If you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, he's coming soon. You want to do that today. I want to lead you in a prayer to accept Christ. It's a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. Here's the first thing you want to do right off the top. Acknowledge that you are a sinner. It's something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do, your role, is to repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again. A child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Help me with my goal for the month of June, trying to get five new patrons. We got one sign up so far, looking for four more. You guys can also click that super thanks button down below on this video here. If you'd like to tip me with a one-time donation, it's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.